What is going on guys? FMU here and today we've got a corker of a game for you my friends. We've got the derby against Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium. I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I have no idea. I can never remember what their name of their ground. Yeah, it is Cardiff City Stadium. Thank you very much. I second guess myself there for no reason whatsoever. Now, I played them earlier on the season. They beat us 1 0, very disappointingly. But you can see we're up to 13th. And I'll be honest with you, I'm loving managing Swansea. Newcastle are doing very well. Let's just have a look at the lead table. Let's do it a bit of a roundabout way. Newcastle were top at one point under Harry Redknapp. But we're going to beat them 1-0. Um, but yeah, they've done well under Redknapp. Um, with the team that I built. And if they'd have kept me there, I think I'd have turned them round. Um, don't think he's even brought anybody else in that I know of. Uh, nope, still my team. So, you know, no need to thank me. <laughs> but let's have a look at the transfers first. Uh, as you can see, Gomez is off to West Brom. I tried to get rid of him in the January transfer window, but there were no takers. Uh, and young Jay Fulton's going back to Scotland with the Rangers. Um, we've been busy. We've been busy. This guy, highly recommend him. Absolutely superb. Obviously, he wasn't signed by me. He was already here when I got here. But he is brilliant. He is a standout player for me absolutely stand out been amazing uh, so <clears throat> you saw us what did we, who was the last person you saw me bring in you saw that i'd agreed to bring in westwood so um i brought in charlie austin i brought in matt tootle from crew uh i know i'm a bit biased but i do like matt tootle and he has profited because Bertrand, who I brought in on loans, picked up an injury. And Tootle's been in and he scored against Stoke last time out. Um, fluke, but he scored nonetheless. It was meant to be a cross, but it kind of bobbled in. Uh, Henry McGrath from Dartford. Okay. Shut up, dog next door. I only signed him purely because he was the top goal scorer in the FA Cup. And I thought it'd be pretty funny to, uh, to bring him in. And see how he gets on. He's made one appearance. He's doing well for the under 18s. So, you know, it was just. And I wanted to help Dartford out. They're a decent little club. Ron Bertrand, as I say, he, we brought him in for Chelsea on loan. Billy Waters, big prospect for the future in real life. So I've paid, I've stumped up a million pounds for him from crew. Uh, was injured quite uh, just after joining in training. But uh, hopefully, he'll be good to go. Uh, he's been making a few appearances. <laughs> the wily old David James, young man at 45, just there purely, um, purely as the backup for the backup. Because both my keepers picked up an injury and uh, I thought I need a keeper. I saw him and I thought he'll do, you know, and snapped him up. But uh, yeah, he um, <clears throat> he's not played yet and he probably won't. And then a blast from the past. Julio Baptista, and he's been really decent uh, in the games he's come on. He's only got one goal, but man, does he does he get chances? He's a beast, absolute beast. If you could pick him up for like a a, a top flight team in a you know in a smaller club around Europe, I reckon he'd get you a good few goals for sure, for damn sure. Um, whoop, wrong one. And um, on the outs front. Um, they were all gone when I got here. Uh, I got rid of Hemed, made a profit on him, so that's cool. He's gone to West Ham. Uh, Kelvin Wilson has gone to West Brom, and a few players gone out on loan. Uh, I released Drogba because he wasn't getting in, and I released uh, Tramel, Alfie, and uh, Rangel. <coughs> Tien Dali has gone to Bristol City. And then just a few loan outs. So, you know, a few ins and outs. Nothing major outwards, really. Um, I didn't consider this guy, uh, Toma Hemed, as being uh, 
as being a first team player really. He wasn't he wasn't performing for me, but he's doing well for West Ham. I think he's bagged a few goals down at uh, down at West Ham. Yeah, he's got three goals down there, so uh you know, fair play to him. So um let's just quickly have a look at the team for now. That's fine. Um Darren Gibson's having a bit of a mardy pants. So we'll pop him him on for Ian Pearson. Ian Pearson's a young uh, one of the re he's the best regen that we had. Not brilliant by any stretch of the imagination, but I like to give the best one a bit of a go um, when they first come in. Test them out a bit. Um me choosing, but I'm gonna put Sigurdsson in instead of me choosing. For this, I think Tootle will keep his place. Bertrand's still injured. And this guy, Jefferson Montero. Beast. 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 Absolute monster of a player. When he scores, he doesn't get one. He gets two, three in a game. And uh, he's been impressive. Really impressive. Um, but unfortunately, he's injured. So, when we last came together you saw us draw nil nil with Leicester we then beat Norwich by a goal to nil and we were unlucky to lose to uh, Stoke by three goals to two then we look you see we went on a bit of a dire run um, we lost to Cardiff 2-1 oh, I thought it was one nil I must have I, must, I don't know what I'm thinking of perhaps I'm thinking of the Tottenham game um, Reading beat us 2-1 Man City beat us 2-1 and Tottenham beat us 1-0. But the thing was, in every single one of those games, we outplayed the opposition massively. We then went to Doncaster in the Cup uh, and won 3-2. Um, it was difficult, but we got there in the end. Uh, a 3-1 win over Everton. Suso, the Liverpool only, with a couple of goals. So they weren't happy about that. We then drew two apiece with uh, West Brom before the performance of the season. I was gobsmacked. And Mourinho was very, very, very complimentary in the press afterwards. Um, we thumped them 4 1. And they, they, look, we went 1 the lot. They equalised straight from the kickoff. But then we just had them. We just absolutely had them. We then went to Morecambe in the Cup. We only won 2-0, but it was a very good performance. Bertrand scored on his debut there. Uh, we lost 3-2 to West Ham. Shelby and Dyer with our goals. We were 2-0 up at Hull. Unfortunately, we drew 2-2. We beat Burnley 3-0. Newcastle 1-0. And it was an own goal as well. All the sweeter. We beat Southampton by three goals to two in the uh, FA Cup. Then we lost 1-0 to both Man U and Arsenal before drawing one apiece with Liverpool. We lost, disappointingly, this was my worst performance as manager by far uh, against Middlesbrough. They were poor against them, real poor. And then we beat uh, Southampton 2-0 before unluckily losing 2-1 to, uh, to Aston Villa. And then we beat Leicester 4-1, Norwich 3-1 and Stoke by two goals to one. So there's just the four games left. We've got the big derby against Cardiff. Then we're at Reading. Then we're at our last home game is at home to City before finishing at Tottenham on the final day. Um, still working with the tactic I showed you in the last episode. Um, really working well, touch wood. Now you're here, we'll probably get beaten. But uh, uh, Matt Tootle is slightly concerned because, God bless him, he feels he's he f he was feeling that because I subbed him um, in his two starts, he was feeling that he wasn't good enough to play in the Premier League. Which, in all fairness, he on the game he probably isn't. But I uh, I had a chat with him, and I basically said, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and you know you'll get you'll get better. I'm not subbing you because I don't think you're good enough. I'm subbing you because your fitness. You know, you were you were getting tired. Uh, I wanted to change the change of pace. So I was bringing, say, Ben Me on. Or one thing I do often is, uh, especially when, um, especially when Mantaro's fit, because I like to play him there. 
uh, and Dyer or Suso there, and I drop Ashley Young to there. So, um, you know, I was, I just wanted to change things around a bit, and I actually think I, I moved Dyer over, um, or Suso over, dropped Young back and took him off. You know, just a bit of change of pace, a bit of a change of options, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, they, um, they, uh, he, he just kind of was like, oh. You think I'm you think I'm rubbish, but that wasn't the case at all. One thing I will tell you, I've been doing, uh, and actually, let's go. It's always believe in your soul. We'll pop those on. I've been playing it in the 2D Classic because I've noticed when I'm playing the 2D Classic, it's more realistic. The match engine, the 3D match engine, still got a lot, a lot of work to go into it. So um, I've decided to go with this and just have a look at the highlights, the goal highlights. So, also Ashley Westwood has been immense for me. So pleased that he came in. So, so pleased. He's been really good. But uh, we, um, we were unlucky to lose to Cardiff last time out. Very unlucky. One day. Oh, poor finish. But... Um, you know, Karanka, the, the manager, he's the manager of Cardiff now on this. He uh, he's, he does not like me at all. When we lost to Middlesbrough, he was like mocking me in the press and everything. <laughs> like an idiot. But, uh, wow, that was a really crap. Um, actually, no, you bet. You do it. Claudette, you do it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Stick with that for now. Let's see how we get on. I think I'll bring Batista on. Um, I was thinking of Charlie Austin, but I don't know. I, I get the feeling Batista's a little bit more physical. But mind you, though. Um, right. Billy Waters can come on. You can come on there. And... Batista, and I'm not going to do, I'm not going to talk to them, because I very often find that when I talk to them, they think I lack credibility, like the poo brains that they are. We have not had, have we had a highlight? Now we have. Is he offside? Good. Jesus, I thought he'd given a power to them. My heart just skipped a beat. So, this has been the most boring game ever. In the world of football manager videos. Oh, they're going to score, aren't they? I've got a feeling they're going to score in a minute. Here we go. Oh, you. Yeah. They've done the double over us then. Because there's no way we're going to get back into this. Always takes a moment for the first highlight to load up. Always. No matter what computer you're on. No matter how powerful your computer is the first highlight i've noticed for a lot of people's videos always takes an age to load in boom that was poor real poor real poor absolutely pathetic so this doesn't happen very often but i've had to i've had to have a bit of a go at them and it really doesn't happen very often at all but we're still 13th a few games left Mm -hmm. so it's tight at the bottom super tight but you know um, we've been in some good form lately just not when Tottenham are beating uh, when Norwich are beating teams around us yes I did I did reveal anger because that was pathetic absolutely pathetic um, who's up next? I can't remember. Who is it? Reading away. I tell you what, I'll give you that one as well because that's the kind of nice guy I am. Okay, guys, we're back and it's time to play Reading or Reading as they're known. Before you start whinging, I'm only messing. Um, so Montero, I popped on the bench in replace of Gibson. Bertrand's still not quite fully fit, so I've left him out the team. Um, but apart from that, it's the same team that started. 
uh, the derby against Cardiff. And uh, we've had a 12-day break for the internationals and so on and so forth. So hopefully they'll come back revitalised. But the trouble is, so will Reading. So let us see. Let us see how we get on. I'm going to go out there passionately. We can ensure survival with one more win. So will that win come today? That's the question. I do hope so. I do hope so. Brendan Rogers and me don't see eye to eye about Suso. He doesn't like where I'm playing him. Um, he's not happy about it. Oh, that's poor from Toots. Poor from Toots. Come on. Come on. Get him. Well done, Shelby. Suso, Dyer, send it out wide. Go on. Young. Go! Ashley Young, third of the season. Nice little move. Well played, well moved. Well, yeah, cool. It was a nice little move. So, of course, it was well moved. Oh, they uh, they popped the ball around quite well. Get in. Couldn't really see much there. There was a bit of a stand in the way, but you saw the finish. Which, oh, can't he go? Oh, no, no, no. Well done. Less goals from corners. Oh, Suso, what are you doing there? Why the hell did he not continue to chase that idiota? Um, yeah, far less goals from corners, I've noticed, for my team anyway. Um, very little coming from... In fact, I don't think yet... Uh-oh. More saved, more cleared. I don't think yet I've seen a goal scored by a team, by a team that I manage on the game. I can't, from a corner. I'm, I might be wrong. In fact, I'm sure I probably am wrong, but I don't honestly remember seeing one, which is uh, which is very odd, very odd indeed. Well done, I love that guy. Then our number two, brilliant player. Go on, Toots. Oh, unlucky. Very much Matt Toot, all that is. Gets into some amazing forward positions and then, like, spoons it wide. God, God love him. God, I love a bit of the old Tootmeister. So, we'll bring Charlie Austin in. And I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Montero on for your man there. Austin, calmly, natural game. Montero, calmly, make a difference. He, uh, he's been amazing for us this season, though, Jefferson. When I came in, Gary Monk had popped him in the reserves, um, and he was up for sale before he had been before Monk got sacked. And um, Montero's confidence was at rock bottom, so I had to ease him back into the team. I had to really sort of coax him slowly back in, and uh, once he realised I had faith in him and I had trust in him, my God, did he! Did he kick on? But then, oh, here comes the equalizer now. Oh, no, cut out. Well done. Go on. Oh, Fabianski's injured. Oh, crap. <laughs> we don't got a keeper on the bench. Wow, 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 wow. Um. Uh. you. One. Okay, not you then. We just need to try and find somebody now who's got a one. <laughs> who's got a, a, a oh, you've off the pitch though. And I won't put you in goal anyway, you're about three foot tall. Um, Billy Waters is a small guy as well. You're one. Ben me. One. See, this annoys me. <laughs> Why, oh, why did I forget to put a keeper on the bench? I never really put a keeper on the bench, so I, there's only me to blame, to be fair. Only me to blame. What about you, King of the Castle? One. Dang. I don't think anybody's going to be higher than a one to get in there and uh, 
and playing goal for us. Shelby to one. Montero, Rob Ashley, you'll know. What about Sigurdsson? No. Right, okay, 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 okay. I am going to... Damn, this is difficult. Um, Michu can come on. And I'm going to trust John Joe Shelby. <laughs> My God. John Joe Shelby is going to go in goal. Passionate, make a difference. Let's do this. Let's do it. Goal. It was obvious it was going to happen. I mean, come on. Question is now, though, Fabianski's out for a while. Do we go with the kid or do we go with 45 year old David James? Oh. Damn. They're going to get another one now. Oh. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Thank you for pumping it over, Mr. Pogrebniak. Mios Appreciators. Well done. Montero, meet you. Go on. Go! Charlie Austin! Get in! Yeah, little beaut. Get in. That. Montero, meet you. Beautiful ball. That idiot there waving his arm. Offside, left offside. Don't think so, pal. Yes, get in. Very pleased with that, considering we had to put John Joe Shelby in goal. Really pleased with that. Well done. Now, let's have a little looksy poxy and see how badly our boy was injured. Let's see if it was a big one. Up to 12 now, please, with that. Two games left up to 12. Come on. I don't want him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna find out today or not. How long is our boy injured for? Manchester United have won the league. Well done, Louis Van Hall. Good effort. I'm gutted with Sol Wilfred Boney. I bet he's praised by his boy. Well done, Van Hall. You know what I mean? I mean it's they've done well, he's turned them round, that's for sure. Oh, so you're not injured then? You just took a knock in the game. Well, that's good then. At least we don't have to worry about that. Um, but in the summer, I am going to look. Don't, don't tell him. Oh, while I'm thinking about that, on that note. On that note. For my friend who keeps asking me to sign or have a look at uh, Mr. Um, 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 what's his name? What's his goddamn name? Joe van der Sar. Um, I, yeah, actually we'll just do the ad leagues. I'm going to open up, I'm going to go to Holland, and I'm going to open up that. So, from that date, which is at the end of this season, it will load up Holland and we'll see if he's on there. He might not be because I've not um, added a big database, so if he's not, then he's not. And that'll that'll put the end to any interest. But if he's if he's on it and I can get him, I will bring him to the club. So guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. We're not going to do the end of season video today. We're going to do that at the end of the season. But thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and feel free to drop any comments below. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.